So I'm continuing painting my piece here with the Paris spray mixed with old white. Um, just putting it on the drawers first so you can kind of see. And when I sand it, all the detail will pop out. So for now, and look how pretty that looks, the keyhole. Just paint right on over it. It's just paint, it's very forgiving, this chalk paint. If, um, just look for goofy bits, drips. Even if you have drips, you can sand it back and start again. Chalk paint is my favorite out of all the paints that I, and I've used every type of paint. Um, it's also easy to paint over, which, which is great. I found with milk paint, it's harder to paint over for some reason, if you don't like the color. Okay, so there you see just the very top. You can see how pretty it already is looking. Um, that distressed kind of fun look where it's old and beautiful. This is a really pretty piece. It's great that we're taking old furniture and recycling it. I just think it's wonderful. I think this piece would look really pretty in a hallway, in a living room, in a dining room to keep your table linens in. Um, is another wonderful place to put a dresser like this. Um, put a lamp on top. I just think that, I love that look of the old with the, you can put, you know, a lot of people think vintage, oh, I don't want my house to look old fashioned like Granny's house. Um, I like a true mix in a home of old and new. You don't have to be completely one style. You know, mix it up. One thing I really dislike in any home is the matchy-matchy uh, furniture sets that you can get like at big box stores. So much more fun. Buy little bits and pieces of furniture here and there and make them your own. And then you have a home that truly represents who you are, not who somebody at a big box store thought you were. So there you go. So these are, this color is very pretty. These drawers are turning out really nice. This is um, Annie Sloan's Paris Gray, which has a hint of blue in it. And I toned it down. I added, because I just actually had a little bit left in the can. So I added some water and then I threw some old white in there too. And I came up with this neat color. That's another great thing with the Annie Sloan chalk paint is the fact that you can mix colors very easily to create a one-of-a-kind creation. So if you're kind of artistic and that is appealing to you, this is the paint to use. So there you see. How pretty is this? I mean, really, folks. It's just such a pretty little dresser. Another thing with chalk paint you can just add more and more water to keep it going. There we go. So you can get to the end of your project. No sanding. No priming. And then I'll show you at the end, in another video, I'll do one on how I sand it. Because um, you can create different looks with the sanding. Sometimes I take the drawers out, but in this piece, I just thought, what the heck, I'll leave them in. So there you see how pretty it's looking. It has exactly the look I was trying to achieve, which is this really old rustic. I mean, that's what the dresser is, isn't it? I couldn't really change it into a brand new looking piece, and I didn't want to. I have seen people use chalk paint on newer pieces. Uh, they sand it down to a super smooth finish and wax it, and you can do that too with chalk paint. It looks nice. So, 
there you have it. There are the drawers. I'm just going to finish the rest of the piece and I'll, I'll show you at the end what it looks like.